Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, here once again for episode whatever of uh, this big, ridiculous Blade Ops unboxing. They sent me a bunch of stuff, the folks at Blade Ops, including a new hat for Jesus, which was very kind of them. Jesus, he feels included, you know? You look good, pal. He looks good. Today, we have something a little, uh, a little weird. A boker. Now, if you're new here, then that might not sound weird, uh, me unboxing a boker. But I've never had a boker on the channel, uh, let alone a higher-end boker. And this is pretty high-end, a very big box. It says Boker Plus. Boker has a thousand different lines. They're all made by different people all over the world. And generally speaking, they have really cool designs, but questionable QC. And I'm hoping that what is in this box is a little different. So uh, here is your model number. It's one of the more popular designs. The Boker Plus Quiken. Push button. So it's a push button manual. It's a button lock. And I believe it's in titanium. Uh, using the little... I feel bad breaking the seal. I'm sorry guys at Blade Ops. Please forgive me. You hate to break the seal. But I have to do it. And I'll try to do it carefully. I do not get to keep any of these. They're just on loan from Blade Ops. Uh, links for this in the description. So let's open this thing up here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we're working with. I'm excited. I'm hoping I'm not horrendously let down. It could blow my mind. That's kind of my hope here, right? My hope and my dream. So nice little clamshell. Nice pouch in there. Boker Plus. They like to remind you who made it, right? Or they didn't make it. Somebody in uh, designed in Germany, made in the People's Republic of China. It's very kind of them to call it the PRC. What are you going to do? Very uh, politically correct of them. So, a nice zipper pouch here. Nothing too crazy. But, uh, let's open this up. Got some paperwork, silica beads, my favorite snack. And we have the knife wrapped in tissue paper, which is new for me. This is kind of a little ASMR. Huh? Okay. Maybe. Uh-huh, and there it is, the Titanium Quiken, Boker Quiken Button Lock, full titanium build, I think these are like 160 bucks or something like that, a chonky boy, flipper only, the blade perfectly tucked into the handle, I like that, very thin, very gentleman's carry, we have a really nice micro milled pattern on here, do you see this, little kind of tactile-esque, tactile knife code, tactile turn-esque kind of pattern on the handle. It's very nice, feels very nice. Got a lanyard loop back here if you're into that kind of thing. Minimal hardware, two T6 body screws, T8 pivot, nothing too crazy. Heavy, uh, very heavy. So it looks like it's titanium scales over stainless liners, titanium backspacer, uh, a little dinky deep carry clip, but well-placed, kind of stiff. Oh, really stiff. But that's it, like very clean, very simple design. Nice texturing here on the flipper tab, and of course, push button, manual push button. So let's see if Boker can pull off the fidgety goodness of a manual push button. Um, wow. First off, detent, detent, you know what I mean? The little plunger tension, excellent. That thing flew right out of there. And this is the classic Boker Quiken. Uh, they have a million different versions of this in a million different sizes. Uh, it's not a new design. It's been around for a while. I forget who did this. Forget who designed this. Uh, I'll, uh, future me, who designed the Quiken? I forget. Wow, Brad Zinker maybe? I don't remember. Who knows? That's a nice profile. Clean. We kind of have this... You know, a little upswept, almost like an upswept tip. But nice belly on that. Uh, belt satin finish. S35 Burnley. It's a Lucas Burnley design. It's on the blade. I'm an idiot. There you go. Nice. Uh, it's not crowned, the top of the blade spine, but it's nicely chamfered. Got an interesting little cutaway there on the blade as well. It's a clean knife in profile. In hand, it is kind of just a box. It's like a little block. But, I gotta tell you, nicely knocked down, nicely finished, no hot spots. No pinch points. 
feels great. Um, you can kind of trigger pull it. See the shape of that uh, flipper tab lets you kind of tuck in right there behind the blade. That feels nice. Pinch grip, yeah. Nestle in behind the flipper tab, thumb on the blade. That feels great. Or finger on the blade. Feels nice. It's a nice looking knife bl uh, blade play. This is a big one. Uh, just a hair of up and down, but only if I'm really, you know, really trying to jack it up. And it's barely noticeable. So, build quality right off the bat. Uh, kind of, kind of impressive. Who's making these, Boker? I need to know. Uh, it's just on the uh, show side here, by the way, it just says Boker Plus. And on the back, very minimal uh, billboarding. Burnley and S35VN. So, 160-some bucks. 67 maybe, future me, price here. Wow, gee whiz. Uh, for S35EN, titanium, manual button lock. So let's check the action here. Let's see if the action's any good. Running on a set of bearings. A little bit of grit from the bearings. But what the hell? It doesn't suck. At all. Nice, snappy action from the flipper tab. Again, it's the only way you can open it. There's that blade tucks in so nice. It is a clean profile closed up. But no button stick, no lock stick at all. Really easy to light switch that flipper tab. Boker? What's going on here, dude? This isn't bad at all. Check the noise. Decent. What the shit? <laughs> I... Okay. I... I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. And this was sealed in the box. So it's not like Blade Ops was like, Oh, quick, send him the best one. This is literally sealed in the package. With the safety tab still intact. 165 66 bucks. This is not a bad buy. Titanium, manual button lock, S35VN... Nice and thin flat grind, thin blade stock, decently tall flat grind, belt satin finish, and I'm wondering, will it cut anything? We ought to check. So let me get the phone book out real quick. I'm betting you it will. It feels good and slicey. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Oh, she'll cut. She'll cut real nice. Nice and thin blade makes for just dynamite cutting performance. Now, I can't speak to the heat treat on this S35. You know, I, I am just now unboxing it. We'll see. I, I can't really beat up on it because it's not my knife. But I can speak to the build quality. And I am genuinely impressed. It's better than my Boker Strike, which is affordable and cheap. It's better than my Boker Lancer, which is S35 and brass. I've only ever owned two Bokers. And they were both okay. This is genuinely excellent uh, for what you're paying. Um, kind of pleasantly surprised by this okay the boker plus quiken push button manual flipper titanium s35en from blade ops i who would have known who would have guessed i'm glad i asked to check this one out I, i'm i'm i mean overjoyed that this doesn't suck it's really good it's very fun very fidgety very slicey very clean design too very unscary right this is a good office carry a good wedding carry i'm kind of into it honestly very impressed uh not the full review just the unboxing some first impressions plenty of pictures on instagram from me and on kara's instagram as well so check us out there thank you blade ops for sending this long this is awesome this is i'm genuinely so far this is the one I'm, i've been like wow shit well done. Uh, I, I'll try to find out as much as I can about this, as in, like, who's making it? I would love to know if it's just a Boker factory in China. I don't know. But it's really good. Who'd have guessed? That's it from me. Thank you all so very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.